there are a handful of singers that were very influential in my early development as a musician um, and continue really to embed themselves even in what I'm doing today. The very first album I bought with my own money was Billy Joel, The Stranger. Um, I must have sang that album hundreds of times. The storytelling on that album had a really visceral effect on me. Um, honestly, if I close my eyes, I can almost feel the emotions and, the, and also the very beginning of realizing that this is, might be something that I want to do. That album, 52nd Street and Glass Houses, had a really huge impact on me. And honestly, I didn't realize it at the time, looking back and the older I get, um, it's really clear to me now how much that impacted me. And when I was a little bit older in high school, anyone who knows me from then can attest to this, that Rob Halford was my ultimate metal hero. Um, he was so powerful and just brutal and yet really melodic and catchy as hell. The very first band I was in, in high school, we did 90% Judas Priest covers. A few Iron Maiden, uh, Beastie Boys, Fight for Your Right to Party. Um, he was and still is an icon and a true legend and a badass. When I started singing in bands that wrote our own material and started playing in local clubs, um, the next singer on this list I think had the biggest influence on me and that would be the late, great Lane Staley of Alice in Chains. You know, I don't even know where to begin with him. Um, with so many emotions, uh, how I feel about him as a singer, it was just beautiful, melodic, and really raw, and, and tortured, and sad. Dirt will always be in my top five albums list. Um, it was a huge impact on me when it came out. And for years, that was the actual album that I would warm up to before I would go play a show. So, all right, P. Lane, we miss you. So a few honorable mentions to this list would be Scott Weiland of STP and Velvet Revolver, which was one of the best shows I've ever seen. And Chuck D of Public Enemy, I'm not a rapper, but um, his, his power and delivery were really intense and had an effect on me. There were a handful of artists that may not have had as much influence on me particularly as a singer, um, but overall they had a huge impact on me and influenced me as a musician and as a songwriter and just an overall human being. Those people would be Neil Young, of course, Trent Reznor, Prince, and for about the past decade, Jason Isbell has been my North Star. Just such an amazing, amazing songwriter. These group of people um, have guided me. All of these artists are fearless and poetic in their music, letting you know where they stand on the human condition and society as a whole. Um, it's very admirable, in my opinion, um, unnecessary responsibility as an artist. With all these artists that I'm mentioning in this video, I aspire to continue that tradition with my songwriting. If anybody wants to know who I am and what I'm about and what I believe in, all I gotta do is go listen to my albums, because it's all there, it's all there.